Hey y'all, and welcome back. Super short gear review time. Today we're looking at a tourniquet holder. This particular tourniquet holder was a little difficult for me to finally land on because I'm trying to fit a Sam XT tourniquet inside of it. And I'll take it over to the table here in a second and show you why that is a thing and why it took me a couple of different tourniquet holders to land on one that is working for me. This happened to be an Amazon find, which is rare that I find things on Amazon that I like. And it is made in America, which I do like. So let's take it over to the table and get a closer look. All right, so this has laser cut slots on the back. It comes with two strips of Velcro as well as a malice clip. So for horizontal mounting, you're going to use the Velcro strips. And I have my two inch Uncle Mike's belt here for demo purposes. So you just wrap it on like that and it's not going anywhere. That is a good secure mounting method, no wiggle. And that is ultimately how I'll configure this belt. But for right now, I would have to undo all of this. And so for brevity's sake, I'm rolling with the two inch Uncle Mike's for display here. All right, so we can yank those out and slide in the malice clip for vertical mounting and I'm just gonna drop that right through like so turn it over and I'm just gonna quickie do it like that for right now I could actually loop, there's one more loop in there and I could run that through, but for fluidity's sake, we're just gonna do it like that. That leaves it a little wobbly, but I can tighten this up. So the reason this became necessary is because the Sam XT tourniquet is girthy. And let's compare it to this Recon Medical Cat 4 style. It doesn't seem that much bigger, but it just is kind of in every dimension, especially this big old buckle here. So for instance, on this Fieldcraft Survival Kydex unit, it just it was absolutely not <laughs> gonna fit in there under any circumstances. So I'm using it for this guy. That's a nice, sleek, sexy fit. And this is, Pretty cool because it has a belt clip-on kind of deal. So I've just been hanging this on my the side of my range bag. So it goes with me to the range and I make sure it's always there. And this will be my belt unit in the 1110. All right, so that's it. The 1110 tourniquet holder available on Amazon. Get one for yourself if you don't already have a tourniquet holder. Bring tourniquets to the range, y'all. If you're shooting guns at all, at any level, you should own a tourniquet, at least one, preferably two or three. Keep one in the car, keep one in your range bag, have one nearby if you are shooting guns. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters and those of y'all kicking down through Buy Me A Coffee. I cannot do this without you and Gear is expensive as shit, so thank you so much for your help. Until next time, be easy, y'all.